Hello everyone. So today I'm here with my Nemazine Singularity. I apologize sincerely, but now before I get this video started, I apologize sincerely for the lack of videos on my channel. Sony Vegas is being a dick and not like letting me render the video. I can edit everything and then it'll get to 99% render and it'll cancel the render and it won't actually render the video. So I have to figure out what's wrong with that before I can upload another video. So I'm going to do this all in one run without any editing. So if there is any mistakes, I apologize. I can't edit. So shall we begin? Um, now I come to you with my Nemazine Singularity, and it is a very simple modification that actually greatly improves the function of this pen, and that is an O-ring right here at the end. As you can you can see it right there at the end of the barrel where the where the threads mesh at the end of the threads of the barrel. Now what this does is it improves, well it increases the uh, friction point between the barrel and the section. So what happens is if you own one of these pens you know what I'm talking about is you will tighten the cap and sometimes when you go to unscrew your, your the cap of, a pen, of the pen what will end up actually happening is you will unscrew the barrel so rather than you unscrew and the cap starts unscrewing what will happen is the barrel will just start unscrewing so you'll have this I just filled my pen by the way so you'll have this this kind of thing where you'll you'll unscrew and that's what that's what will happen and then you're left with a section and a barrel so then you have to go and unscrew your cap And screw your barrel back in and that's not a problem it, it happens every now and again it doesn't happen very often but it does happen and I wanted to eliminate that and also improve the uh, amount of time the ink remains inside the pen so the the no I have I've never had an issue with this with the nib being dry when I kept the pen but something I did notice is if I leave it for about 2 weeks it'll lose about 50% of its ink capacity if I fully fill it and we won't lose about 50 it, I apologize if I leave it for a, a couple of weeks it'll lose about 30% ink capacity and if I leave it for actually a full month it'll lose 50% ink capacity so that I find to be an issue. So I wanted to also improve that. And now not because I don't use my pen, because I do, I mean, I do, I use my pen on a daily basis when it's not summer break or winter break. I use my pen on a daily basis for a lot of different things. But the problem I saw with that is if I've got that much ink evaporating out of my pen, I'm going to be getting less ink that is usable. So, I do enough writing to have to ink this every three days, every four days, every two to, two to three days. That's how much writing I do. Uh, sometimes I actually have to ink this after one day of writing. A lot of writing. So, I found that, you know, I wanted something that would improve the evaporation rate inside this pen because I have actually gone three weeks with a filling that I actually didn't use at all my pen because it was standardized test week I filled my pen I w it was standardized a bunch of standardized tests in a row pretty much from every single class I had so it was pretty much an entire week of testing and the the week before and the week after were just the week before was review. We reviewed everything 
we didn't write anything. The week after, it was all kind of more loose, let loose week, so to speak. So we didn't actually do much work. But yeah, I wanted to improve, and, and so I left it with three weeks with actually just writing uh, two sentences. I wrote within those three weeks, and I found that my pen was under 50% capacity. So I wanted to solve that, and this is what I came up with. Um, I've been actually using this system for a while, and bef so yeah, it, it, it's it's held up very very well. Now let me explain how this works to improve that. I will come up here and you can see you can barely even see that o-ring in there but you can see it it'll focus properly I have to bring up the loop that I was using before the video so you can barely even see the o-ring there well you can see the o-ring there and that's all fine and dandy that's the o-ring um, so what that does is it, it meshes with the cap when I when I bring the loop in again. So I'm actually getting this. You see the O-ring there. So when I tighten the cap, I'll loosen that a little bit. So you can see there's a little space there. And when I tighten the cap, it creates an airtight seal with the cap. And I have found that this actually, I left this pen untouched for three weeks. And there was only about a 3% of apparition of ink from this pen. So based on that analysis, I'm getting similar performance through the 3776 slip and seal technology. Because 3% is practically negligible. You can actually account that to user error of not tightening this cat, this pen correctly. So, 3% is negligible. And it also, what it also does is it, is it prevents this pen from being over tightened. I can torque this down really hard. And actually just apply the same amount of pressure pretty much every time to open it. And as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. Now, I, like I said, I had to torque that down pretty freaking hard to get that. And as you can see, here's the O-ring. I'll just bring my loop and the O-ring there. There's the O-ring. Now, I will remove this O-ring and I will show you how to install this O-ring. Now, I'm not sure what size this O-ring is, but it's a small O-ring. Um, just large enough to fit loosely over this here you can see fits loosely over that it doesn't fit uh, loosely over the metal section though the actual barrel portion I actually have to put a slight bit of force there and it will retain its place generally speaking so what I do from there is I simply slide this and I haven't actually just filled this pen, I've been writing with it a little. And I will push this onto the uh, section. So there is going to be little notches here. Now if those, not, no, those notches could very possibly get in your way, there's a notch. So those could very possibly get in your way while you're sliding this o-ring on. Now if you want to look for an o-ring like this, just take your converter and make sure it fits over this portion. Loosely and with a little bit of pressure goes onto this. And you'll have this kind of fit. So what I'll do now is I'll roll this in. Just like that. As far as it'll go. And there will still be a gap there. That's not an issue at all, as I can just take my barrel and screw this in, and here you can see the gap. So 
So I will just tighten that down until I get a pure secure tightening. And it will actually squish that o-ring, squeeze it out of the pen. So when you look at it in this angle, bring that into focus, there is a small bit of that o-ring protruding as you can see at the bottom there. Small bit of that o-ring protruding. So it squeezed that out just enough to make it protrude a little bit. And that is perfect. If I am trying to, there we go. That is perfect to when you screw the cap in, it'll create the same airtight seal that you see there. And, well, of course, the pen is the pen. It looks be Oh, sorry for burning the trap out there. The pen is the pen. It looks beautiful. It really is beautiful. In this blue marble finish, it's the Nemazine Singularity. Some of you may recognize this. Or you may not because you've never seen it in this finish before. If you haven't seen it in this finish before, check out my video review of this pen. And I hope you like it. You may also recognize this. This is a triplet that I had in my video recently. You can see my nails are long, I need to trim them. <laughs> I recently had this, this is a triplet, so with this I can get very color accurate. As you can see, there is no color shift between that. And I've also made sense that these cheap Chinese tri triplets aren't actually triplets, they're just uh, jeweler's loops, they're, they're, they're titled jeweler's loops. You can see, to begin with, that's blurry, and that the lens actually is has been cleaned. There are no fingerprints on this lens, but the lens it itself is cloudy. Uh, so I can't do anything about that, and you can see a color, a very pretty, actually pretty significant color difference. And with this, very nice optics, I can get very quick really sharp results really enjoy that distortion on this huge you can see that looks like it's flared and it's perfectly cylindrical with this not so not so apparent towards the edges it stays nice crisp and clear but yeah this pen is not about the this video is not about the loops but it's about this simple modification you can do your pen um, it won't improve its writing ability but it will certainly improve its overall performance oh and something I'd like to mention I'm actually about to do a video on this and that is tine alignment it's really really important if you're not getting v uber smooth writing you can see my tines are actually misaligned there ever so slightly but they're misaligned and I'm going to make a video on how to get proper time alignment uh, right after this one so yeah slightly misaligned but you can't tell anything from this angle I mean from this angle it all looks fine and dandy you can't tell time misalignment from this angle again looks looks it all looks fine and dandy. But when you go to this angle, you can see they're slightly misaligned. Anyways, so I thank you very much for watching. If you actually stayed through this, leave a comment down below. Because, come on, you came to see the very simple thing. And if you actually stayed through this, I appreciate it. So thank you very guys, thank you guys very very much for watching. I really appreciate your, you uh, spending your time to watch this video in its full length. So I will see you guys next time, and take care. Bye bye.